Though growth has not been on par with other countries in the First Citizens Group, that financial institution says it remains committed to Barbados. Chief Executive Officer Karen Darbezi expects better results from Barbados with the completion of its integrated technology system. A positive thing for Barbados, once that integration is completed, then we will be able to do full-fledged launch of all of the financial products we have within the Trinidad and Tobago space within the Barbados group. Um, in addition, while the performance in Barbados may not have been as, as large, showing as, as much growth as we saw from an overall group perspective, First Citizens continues to be committed in the Barbados environment. Ms. Darbezi says First Citizens' commitment can be seen with the opening of the new branch at Welch's St. Thomas. She says the company has also supported government. We lent to the government of Barbados for their equity participation in CAF, and CAF is the CDB equivalent in Central America. And by Barbados becoming a member country of CAF, it gives Barbados access to um, cheaper, longer-term funding, which will be used by the government once they access it for the economy. So we think that um, from a Barbados perspective, we've made a good contribution in Barbados. Director of Economics with the Caribbean Development Bank, Dr. Justin Ram, believes Barbados has made a good start to its programs aimed at reigning in debt levels. However, he also says there are some key areas that will have to be monitored and improved going forward. He made the comments during a recent interview with the Business Report on the Barbados economy. They are putting in place the correct uh, fiscal effort in the right direction. Um, now, the debt-to-GDP ratio has two components. One of it is the buildup of, of the overall debt level, and the other one is related to the level of GDP. We think that along with the measures associated with bringing down the overall levels of debt, the government also needs to focus on structural reforms that would unleash higher economic growth. So that, that, that GDP, that factor of GDP needs to grow much higher. What we're seeing here is that GDP growth rate of one or less than 1% is insufficient to help Barbados come out of the current uh, conundrum that it finds itself in. Well, here's a look now at how stocks traded on exchanges across the region.